First at 6 o'clock tonight, for more than a week, demonstrators in Indianapolis have demanded an end to police brutality and to hold officers more accountable. And late last week, the city announced it's revising its current use of force policy. But as RTV6's Stephanie Wade finds out, it might not be enough for everyone seeking justice. Major steps in the city's history, according to the mayor of Indianapolis, were taken last week. For the first time, the use of force by police officers will be reviewed by the citizens of Indianapolis. Just one of the changes made following nearly two weeks of protests against police brutality and the deaths of George Floyd and Drayshawn Reed here locally that have rocked the city and the nation. Not only long overdue, but uh, frankly are in keeping with uh, standard best practices uh, in other communities throughout uh, the country. Last updated in 2016, Mayor Joe Hogsett says IMPD's use of force policy will be based on a California model. Number one, creating a clear standard for use of deadly force updating the requirement for identification and warning before using deadly force, banning the use of chokeholds entirely, outlining clearly defined de-escalation requirements, defining an officer's duty to intervene and report when another officer uses inappropriate force not previously required, prohibiting shooting into moving vehicles, requiring reporting of all uses of force by an officer, both lethal and non-lethal. And lastly, specifying rules for use of less lethal force. Having the citizens who are will be charged with the responsibility of participating uh, and guiding and ultimately recommending to uh, the chief I think that's the most significant uh, aspect of the uh, of the changes that we're making. Though not everyone is satisfied with the proposed changes, the African American Coalition of Indianapolis is calling for more civilian oversight and transparency, wanting a civilian majority on the use of force review board, not affiliated with the city government or IMPD, to ensure accountability. We have a disagreement in terms of what the makeup of that board uh, looks like. But the critical aspect is, is that nearly half of the board will be made up by uh, citizens. And I think that's an important step forward for our community. Mayor Hogsett says he's open to considering in the future if more citizen participation would be beneficial, but feels the changes they're making now are significant and will be impactful for all people living and working in Indianapolis. Stephanie Wade, RTV6. Well, the IMPD General Orders Committee is expected to vote on the drafted use of force policy this week. Beginning July 6th, IMPD will start training officers on this new policy.